Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Brave X's video, and this is a perfectly good showcase that I have here. So we're going to be facing Louise in the harder version. So, Starlight Elena did get buffed on the JP version. First of all, she got buffed for free, first of all, for her base LB giving 400 times, or 700 times, sorry, 700 times mod buff to her LB. For fixed damage LB, so for her vapor shift LB, so it is now a very strong modifier, over 3,000 modifier, but it's for, for fixed damage, so it's the same as Carl and also um, Baron in his base form. So she can you can crown her. She's very good now. Um, she just she's just really powerful now. So. She didn't really get much else changed, but she's a very strong finisher now because she can hit twice. So, sadly, she's still locked to light. I mean, you know how that goes. But in this video, I can actually use her for something. So this is a this is a light team. We, are, we, we you guys on the global net side know what he is by now. And High Uncle is a light tank. He can do light damage, but also be a magic tank, which I need him for. And also the new Fina, who just buffs light, basically is what I need her for. So these are the resistances. I just kind of put a whole bunch of resistances in sound. I didn't put any, I, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just that these resistances work. So that being said, let's go. All right, so the mission here is not mission, not the actual mission, our mission right now. Uh, we need to use her LB here to get the mod buff. And then we need to start, we need to get that filled back up again by turn three. So, should be good. Should be, should be good enough. I, I I think we can do it. And High Uncle is going to use his cover, and we're going to use this resistance. I don't know if it actually does anything or not, but I'm going to do it anyways. And we'll do this move here for some mitigation. Although I don't think we need that either. But it has resistances in there, so also might help. So our main goal though is to fill up Elena's LB. I'll resist everything because I'm pretty sure we're all good on that front. And now we're going to use this cooldown here, which gives killers. But I don't think I'm not sure. I, I, I think there's human killer in there. Now we're going to shift, and we're going to use this grayness, which has five uses, by the way, which is very generous of them. Very generous. Oh, that bug's still there. I wish they would fix that. That's something that definitely needs to be fixed. And then we'll use this, which has a 120% lane pearl, I guess, but we have 130 with this move here, so that's good enough. And we're going to use this move here that gives them a, mod, a 30 times mod buff. And then we're going to use this move here for 130% lane pearl. And he is going to use his cover again, because why not? And we're also going to use the LB damage buff. We're also going to use this buff, which gives him 400% attack for one turn. And it'll be fine. So for some reason, their LBs don't chain properly, even though they're both 27 hits. I don't really get why. I'm not sure why that's the case, but we're still going to do it anyways. Let that go through. Let Elena go first a little bit. Then we can go in. I like it doesn't really chain, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> She's really powerful, guys. She's a, she has a over 3,000 times modifier. Look how much damage I did. That's really good. That's really, really good. All right, I was I was actually gonna use Tyvis in Lund, Arunda for this, but uh, since I some I, I didn't think I didn't know I had EX3 Elena until now, so I decided to want to do you an Elena showcase instead, guys, for you guys. Maybe in the future Elena can be re reworked even further to be like this, to be really powerful. Anyways. Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace!